Hello everyone. Welcome to another intense Reiki healing session. I hope you guys are doing well today. I'm going to set the intention to release anything that no longer serves you, anything holding you back, anything causing, creating symptoms, mental, emotional, or mental symptoms, and so forth. I will be replacing it with that sweet love, positive energy, confidence, courage, motivation, and so forth. So as always, if you have your own intentions, please put in your order as well. So let's go ahead and begin. And Reiki activated. Brandy Lee, Brandy Lee. Hello, Carmen. Katie, how are you? I missed you too. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Molly. Oh, thank you. Slowly getting our life together, aren't we all? I'm doing better. I'm doing very well. Very busy. I'm leaving for Vegas next week, so I'm trying to get everything done. Namaste from far away. Namaste. Love and magnets to you, my friend. I know it's going to be fun. Welcome. Welcome to the live. Welcome to the community. You are now part of the Knights of the Cornbread community. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Um, if you're just like, girl, what are you doing? I'll be like, I get it. I understand. <laughs> Let me show you the way. As always, if you would like to have some of this wonderful energy I'm allowing you to receive, just go ahead and set the intention or Say in your head or out loud, I'll take some of that Reiki and it will get to work. Ah, a message for someone here. Relax their soul and receive. Hey, Nikki, happy Wednesday. I'll take that. There you go, Stephanie. <laughs> I'm not really sure on the frequency of the music, but it is eight hours Hans Zimmer time cover. Hans Zimmer operates in a unique, beautiful healing frequency on its own. I'm not really familiar with what it is. It doesn't say. Yeah, it's a squirrel. It's a squirrel meditating and it says, no thoughts, just do. <laughs> Hello, William. Hello, Douglas. 
Thank you. This is um, my merch. My best friend drew, drew the squirrel because I love squirrels. I think the, I think it's like, like going with the flow, living free and spontaneous. Yeah, I, last week, I, and I think the week before, I kind of just took a social media break and I started back yesterday. Ricky Martin, black cats and voodoo dolls, living the vida of, wait. I'm kind of brushing off, so I feel it, and it's just like a visualization. Lulu, we're preparing for the magnets. Live in the V. Live in the Vita Loca, Let's grow mo. Let's grow mo. What's up, mo? Oh no, well, you know what tomorrow is? The new moon. <laughs> yeah, it's a new moon. I think it's in Capricorn, but I'm not 100% sure. I summoned Futan, thank you, Katie. Oh no, your body hurts. Now let's, let's ease that pain, release any emotions. Let's release any mental blocks so you can focus. Good morning, Travis. This is a 111 portal. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it's, there's always something going on. Always something going on. Sam, can you talk about your emotion code and your body code? I sure can. Thank you, Greg. Yeah, he's, uh, we have the wizard and we have Mr. Potato Head, the Indiana Jones, the true Reiki master. With our powers combined, we're here for your healing. <laughs> so emotion code and body code is another energy healing modality where we're using the subconscious mind. We're talking to your subconscious mind through muscle testing to find out what's going on, what you're holding on to, what's creating any physical, emotional, or mental symptoms. Your subconscious mind knows everything about you. Everything you've done, seen, said, tasted, and it knows exactly what's contributing to those symptoms. Thank you, Cece. So through muscle testing and process of, process of elimination, um, we find out exactly what you're holding on to. The emotion code focuses on trapped emotions. We all have emotions that we create and we usually suppress them because we don't know what to do with them. Maybe we were told if we felt them we were weak, if we 
um, maybe they're too intense, they're, we're afraid of them, and so forth. Whatever the reason is, we suppress them. Whenever we create an emotion, it wants to be freed into the wild. And so when we hold on to it, it kind of throws a little bit of a tantrum. Hello? So everything is a ball of energy. Stress, negative thought patterns, emotions and trauma. So with emotions, it's like a ball of energy. So you are still feeling the frequency of the emotion. It's tied to the memory of when it's created. And sometimes it can create a limiting belief. So let's say you have, um, uh, you're holding on to attract emotion of heartache. Thank you, Kime. So you're holding on to heartache. And so that was created when a relationship ended and maybe it was your first relationship. And so that hurts so much that your mind's like, okay, let this be a reminder that love never lasts. We can't be open and honest with anyone. And so you create that limiting belief. So that's with emotion code. And there's six different types of trapped emotions, shared, absorbed, um, inherited, prenatal and preconception. With the body code, it is everything about you, mind, body, and soul. This one has six different categories, energy, circuit or system, pathogens, toxins, misalignments, and nutrition and lifestyle. Within each category is a subcategory within a subcategory. So we get very detailed with what you're holding on to, but don't get, it doesn't mean I'm digging up into your skeleton closet. Since we're all connected, your subconscious mind knows what's in the body code and it gives your past these balls of energy. It relabels them and gives them keywords that relates to the body code. So your secret is safe. <laughs> and then um, whenever we gather all the information and your subconscious mind is happy, we release them one by one using magnets. So it's a very powerful technique. If you're looking for more of an interactive, more of you know, what's, what am I holding on to? Instead of like the Reiki where it's kind of like the Reiki energy does its thing. And um, so that's why it's more interactive, more, we find out what you're really holding on to. Hey, Fudan. So yeah, I do, um, <clears throat> I do one-on-one -on -one sessions for emotion code and body code, but I also every Thursday, I do like uh, motion code and body code at a discounted price. Thank you, CC. Oh, I'm glad you enjoy them. So, um, so yeah, every Thursday night at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I have them at a discounted price and we can work on whatever you want and I don't uh, limit it. We just keep going until your subconscious mind stops. We And what's cool about this is very similar to Reiki where if you're just observing uh, and I'm not connected to you, but you resonate with some of the things that we're uncovering, you can release them as well. You can get secondhand healing. I call it secondhand healing because you're the observer, but you're getting the full-blown healing. A lot of people have powerful releases just by observing. So tomorrow night we'll do it. Next week will be different just because I'll be in Vegas. <laughs> so it'll be Monday night. All right. Since we were talking about magnets, why don't we just bring them in? <laughs> pa, pa. Hello, T Mac. Hey, Kimmy. I know. Um, I'm trying to go like different times of the day, but it's always based on my schedule. Thank you, David. From observing. Oh, good. Connection is life. I'm glad. How do you stop my, how do I stop my energy from being drained? Stop giving too much of your energy. Um, you have the ability. So energy is just information that vibrates. You're the one who's in control of this bubble of this situation. Um, and it listens to what you say. Uh, you put meaning to everything. So you can decide and declare like, I'm not sending any energy out. You can say, um, I intend that all my energy gets called back to me. Um, I if you know there's people around you who drain you, you're gonna have to um, either, I recommend taking something that gives you power. So some people think maybe holding on to a rosary, a cross. Um, this is my grandpa ring. This gives me power because it feels like my whole 
um, ancestors, my spiritual team are behind me when I wear this and it gives me strength. Like I step into my power. You can just envision or visualize that your fire, this is my, I love fire, <laughs> that your fire and all the energy that comes to you gets transmuted into positive energy. So instead of you constantly giving out your energy, you're just using the energy around you. Daydream believe. You're welcome. No en energy. And that could just be your body's way of saying, hey, you need to relax. You So maybe you're working too much. You're putting, uh, you're not giving yourself self-care, uh, giving yourself attention. It's okay. I think, I think this is your body's way of saying that you need to focus on yourself and do some more self-care, whatever that is. Sometimes you, it changes. So, you know, in this moment, what's going to make you happy? What's going to make you feel good right now? Maybe it's just sitting quietly and staring at the wall. You're just like, this is what I need. Um, watching a TV show, listening to music, whatever you need. Every once in a while, check in, you know, if you're just feeling a little off, what would make me happy right now? What do I need right now? Maybe it's getting a massage, getting a facial. Oh, thank you. Royal. Hello, Blink. You've been having very vivid dreams. Ooh. About one o'clock. So in 45 minutes, less than 45 minutes. So what if I'm authentic and I get negative responses and affect, affects my self-worth? So there's another, uh, a lot of ways you can look at this. So this can be whenever you have a negative response, you can see it as that is you have healed. And so it's like leftovers from the old version coming up to be released. Um, and some people say like um, death of the old version of yourself. You can say a releasing of the old version. It can be an opportunity for you to figure out what that trigger trigger is in like real time shadow work. So if you have a negative response to something, ask yourself, why am I feeling this way? After you deescalate your, your emotions, uh, I do not recommend doing this when your emotions are high. Deescalate the emotions, um, calm yourself down. If you had a friend or a family member who was freaking out, what would you say to them? Everything's okay, breathe, you're doing the best that you can. Um, so forth. What do you need to hear in that moment? Once the emotion kind of settles a little bit, you can even do EFT tapping as well. Ask yourself, why am I feeling this? What about this situation is causing a response? Is it something someone did? Something someone said? Something I wanted in that moment, but I didn't get? Keep asking yourself questions. You're going to be interrogating yourself almost. And your subconscious mind is going to tell you. <laughs> You can even say, higher self, help guide me, figure out the reason for this trigger. And you'll be surprised how quickly you'll find out, I just don't feel appreciated and I I want to have, I want people to appreciate me. Boom. Say, that's the limiting belief. Well, then start giving that to yourself in that moment. What can you do to appreciate yourself? Um, once we start focusing on ourselves, everything around us changes. So that's what I do. Usually, I'm just adorable. <laughs> like last week, um, I was struggling last week because uh, I had set the intention. Like when, once the ball dropped on 
uh, at midnight in the United States, we have a ball that drops. <laughs> I said, I don't want to bring anything with me uh, to 2024. Everything's gone. So that week, it was like, okay. And um, Daydream Believer had said that, because uh, I asked her, you know, what what's going on in the, the stars or what's going on in the in space. And I guess all the planets are coming back to um, alignment. That's not the right word. They're not in retrograde anymore. They're coming into some, you know what I'm talking about. So there's a lot and something else. So a lot of people were struggling, and I was struggling last week. And so I would do my EFT tapping and I would like, why am I feeling this way? And it was appreciation. I did not feel appreciated um, for the work that I do for my personal life. I feel like I give, give, give. And whenever I felt at the moment, whenever I'm struggling, people disappear. And so I was like, what do I need in this moment? So I, I watched movies, I, um, I played video games and I did things to appreciate myself. Now I feel fantastic. <laughs> There's always something underneath, and when we connect to the, those dots, we can choose to keep it or not. Exactly, Greg. They're going direct. Thank you, Katie. I was like, not? I was like, in alignment? No, that's not right. Hello, everybody. These are magnets. We're balancing your magnetic field. Around your body, around your heart, and around every cell in your body. Yeah, feeling unappreciated, yep. And the funny thing is, I worked through it, and I didn't want to take it out on people, because when I know, I was like, this is something I need to work on. You know, maybe I give too much, or, you know, whatever, I worked on it. This week, the people, I was just like, no one appreciates me. I've been given so much appreciation this week. <laughs> So I'm like, okay, I just needed to work through it. And I was just my biggest cheerleader. I took care of myself. I didn't say tell, tell myself I was failing, doing anything wrong. I was like, all right, this is coming up to be released. Let's release it. I'm going to take care of myself. And it didn't last long. Shadow Vex, how are you? Oh, I'm glad you love the lives. Oh, hey, Mark. still feel that way so now what i recommend doing the eft tapping doing the eft tapping man we lost power again hey girl oh thank you apparently we had a really bad storm but of course it goes around me because people are like oh power's out everywhere i was like there's a storm <laughs> I live in a phenomenal area. Hey, Michelle. I've done that before, I don't know why. Let's try this with EFT tapping. Um, vent, get it all out. How do you feel? Say it out loud and vent. And if you need to say the same thing, cause I was like, I feel unappreciated. Why does no one appreciate me? I'm so mad. I am a good person, but I feel awful. I feel like I do nothing right. And I just went through and it kept coming up and up and I was tapping and I was crying. And then maybe five minutes later, I felt good. I was like, wow. And then after that, I'm like, I'm amazing. Everybody appreciates me. And then I kind of, you know, gave myself a pep talk while doing the um, EFT tapping. I'm from the great state of Ohio. It came on and then cut out again. Oh no. Yeah, don't be afraid to vent. And if you do vent, like tap it out. I sometimes will do this. I was like, I am not doing well. What's going on? <laughs> Thank you, Katie. You're amazing too. So EFT tapping is a, yeah, this is for the collective. So if you want in on this, you're more than welcome to take some. Um, it's based on meridian points. So you tap on the inside of your eyebrow, inside, is that considered inside? I don't know if this, that's outside. So inside of your eyebrow, your temple, and you want to do at least five taps. You can stay here for a little bit if you want. Under the eye, under the nose, the chin, 
in the chest or the collarbone. You can do under the arm and on top of the head, but I just cycle through this one. Because Lord, when I am emotional, I don't have time. <laughs> I don't have the time. Oh, you want the magnet smacks. We can do the magnet smacks. I want to be my authentic self unapologetic. And you can get there. You can get there. It's whenever you're going outside of your normal, your unfamiliar, that's when your brain and your body freaks out uh, because it thinks there's something wrong with you because it has these beautiful defense mechanisms in place. And so when you go into the unknown, it's like, well, what am I, what am I supposed to do? I don't know how to protect you. What are you doing? What's wrong with you? <laughs> and so that's why sometimes it can get difficult at first when you're just like, nah, 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 we're good. We good. Smack me. You have to let yourself heal every time you say nothing's working. That's your mind's keeping in a cycle. Yes, good point, Greg. Claire. Good afternoon, Zen Master Mike. All right, we're gonna do the magnet smacks. I'm gonna do my best to be quiet so you can really embrace the smacks, okay? These jolt your energy system and they also it also balances you. It can be intense for some people. Again, if it is intense, try to breathe through it. If you do feel annoyed or anxious, that's because it's wiggling out or rebalancing something. So if you can if you can power through it, do it. Um, try to breathe, but again, even do the, the tapping if you would like, if you feel agitated. Um, but again, don't be a hero. Feel free to squirrel away and come back. I'll probably only do this for five or 10 minutes, okay? All right, let's go. can visualize whatever you want.
Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for the gifts. I appreciate it. And thank you for the follows. So that was 10 minutes of the magnet smacks that you crave. When I post these on YouTube, I do put timestamps of where the magnet smacks are so you guys can relive this glorious moment. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you for the team bracelet. No, a lot of people don't ask for it. No, you're welcome, Mark. Take a breather. We love the magnets, yes. You're welcome, Michelle. We'll do the uh, swirl and poke in a second. Let's just recover. Are you on fire now? <laughs> the magnets, the magnets. You're still struggling. And it's usually like the second, the second or third day when it hits hard. In 1962, yay. I love Mr. Potato Head. They give you energy. All right, let's go ahead and do the swirl and poke. If you guys are new to the swirl and poke, I'm taking the magnets, tapping on each chakra and spinning it out to your unique speed and frequency. A lot of people feel it in their, their head, their forehead, their ears, or their chest most of the time, but you can feel it anywhere. It is completely normal. This cannot hurt you, it can only help you. So if you do feel any pain or discomfort, try to breathe through it. You just have a stubborn block. But again, don't be a hero. Feel free to scroll away and come back. You're born in the year 1957. I was born in the year of 1987. I can, yes, I can do a brain massage after the swirling poke. What is my shirt? This is a squirrel that says, no thoughts, just dough. It's one of my uh, shirts that my friend created. My merch. <laughs> You're welcome. If for whatever reason I forget after this, um, just be like, hey, brain massage. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Thank you for the rose. The magnets kick the door, I'm like, hello! <laughs> magnets do that sometimes, thank you for the rose. And I think because it's close to the, the new moon, they hit different. There's things going on um, with the Schumann residence too, so there's a lot happening, and a lot that's affecting our magnetic field. You feel this in your solar plexus, okay. Thank you for the live fest. Thank you for the rose. Let's see, what did you say? Oops. Hello, welcome. 2024 has been. We're releasing any remnants of 2023. We ain't bringing that in here and beyond. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, I fell up night to the cold breath. Welcome, welcome. Rayen, where have you been? Hello. Mad dog, where have you been? Uh, do you translate? Oh, hello. Is it Rena? Hello. Yeah, allow your body to uh, to get situated, get acquainted with the Reiki energy. There's no rush. Thank you for the finger hearts. Where have you been? Don't you worry about me. No, um, I took a I took a social media break, um, kind of 
took a break, kind of some self-care. The holidays can be very heavy. Um, a lot happened during the holidays, so just kind of wanted to relax, recharge, and get back at it. I need a social media break. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I like the phrase Brittany says, uh, she like, she always says, I ghost, or I post in ghost, and that's kind of what I do. <laughs> a little self-love hiatus, yeah, I disappear. I disappear for a while, it's what I do. <laughs> I'm an introvert. My introverts, you know, you know that life. Oh, is that... Oh, wow! Well, thanks for joining and being part of this live. I miss you all too. She does have the best sayings. She needs to, if she hasn't already, she needs a t-shirt that says, uh, post and ghost. Unicorn butt sparkles. How have you been? I'll show you. Thank you for the live fest. Girl, I'm glad you're doing fabulous. Yeah, realigning, you know, I go crazy in the holidays. It's, it's my favorite time of year. So I'm always like, go, 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 doing all kinds of stuff. And then I just need to recharge. Oh, Mo, I love you, Mo. Wow, my cheeks are on fire. Magnets. <laughs> they snuck up on me. Thank you for the rose. Thank you for the hand hearts. Okay, let's do, let's put the magnets down just for a second. I may bring them back, but let's do a brain massage. Okay. Magnets hit hard over here. Ooh, what did you say? I need to translate. Oh, good, Lulu. So this is where the, the phrase, no thoughts, just do comes in. <laughs> The brain massage. Prepping you for your next meeting. Good. Confidence. Energy boost. Motivation. This is Reiki, yes. Thank you for the pumpkin spice latte. You're very welcome, bunny bun. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you. Oh, before I forget my subscribers, Saturday, around 10 a.m., 
Eastern Standard, Eastern Standard Time. Be there. Romania. Oh, thank you, Mad Dog. I miss all of you, too. Thank you for the heart, me. What are we doing? Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do like a choose your own adventure type thing. Like do emotion code or chakra cards. I haven't decided yet. From the UK, welcome. Yes, um, I am teaching Reiki this year. I may move, um, I just completed the level one um, and two over the weekend. I think I'm gonna move up level one. It's in April, but I might move it to March because the weekend I thought, because now something has opened up, so I might new move everything back. I don't teach Reiki over the summer. So yeah, level one will either be in March or April, and level two will be the following month. And then um, I don't have my fall schedule out yet. Ah uh, yes, Wizard Cartman and Mr. Indiana Jones, Potato Head, sir. Don't, uh, don't forget the hat. Good afternoon. Yes, it's Reiki, yeah, Reiki 2 will still be February 10th. Yes, yes, yes. Hello from Finland. Welcome. Thank you for the hand hearts, Budan. Yeah. Because I'm teaching the master level in March. And I was like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, I gotta figure things out. From Scotland. Thank you for the rose. You have missed the swirling poke, yes. Ooh, from England. Thank you for the rose. I wish this would automatically translate. Thank you for the rose. How do I stay consistent with this? Like doing lives? I need to go to Scotland, the best men there. It seems like the, the good men are always in a different country. <laughs> Reiki and the lives, yes. Well, the lives, I, I try to do Reiki at least once a week, once or twice a week. Um, and I, I don't really put too much pressure on myself on when it's usually when I'm available normally Tuesday Wednesdays I'm available for Reiki lives um, and it's easier to stay consistent because I have a great community so it's fun it's like I'm talking with my friends or a different state oh yes or a different state How often do you recommend one receives Reiki? So that's, everybody's different. So if you were doing, if you were doing like one-on-one -on -one sessions, it really depends on what you're going through. Sometimes it's just a one and done, and then people just get tune-ups like every six months or once a year. If you are struggling and going through a lot, I recommend um, getting Reiki done more frequently. But that's up to you. I always say listen to your body. Typically, you can do once a week if you want, every other week. Um, 
So every one to six months, or six weeks, if you are struggling with something. But always listen to your body. The violent, fe violet phoenix. <laughs> I'm gonna say that every single time. <laughs> But Reiki can't hurt you, so if you are on a live all day, every day, you're, you're not gonna, it's not gonna hurt you. This is pure unconditional love. Thank you. You said it? Because I read it, I was like, Violet, but then all of a sudden Violin came out. Look what you, look what you did. <laughs> so that was your fault. Okay, got it. He's the wizard. We have our D&D clan. You gotta have a wizard. You always gotta have a wizard. And you gotta always have a Mr. Potato Head. You're still learning to control it. Hey, if it's all in good fun, I'm for it. You do Reiki all day? Yeah. Erica! Happy New Year! Happy Merry Christmas! How are you? Thank you for the heart, me. It can't be too much, because this is very intelligent. This energy knows what you need to release and what you don't need to release. So if you are like, it knows if you're going to be doing Reiki all day, you're not going to have intense purges constantly, unless you're ready for that. Um, so if I, my opinion, this is my opinion. If you're going to be doing Reiki every day, and it knows you're going to be doing Reiki every day, it's like you do little by little over time. And if you were just doing Reiki once a week, you would do like the whole week's worth in one session. You know what I mean? You pick up when I'm laying down? Good! I'm glad she's feeling great. I'm so sorry that your puppers passed away. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yeah, you're doing great. 125 days. That's incredible. I'm so freaking proud of you. Ooh, I got goosebumps. I'm just really happy. You're starting to become a sound healer. That's amazing. Love and magnets to you, friend. You want Reiki? You can have some Reiki, Rose. The sun just came out. Melt all that snow you just got. They've been your vibe lately. And it's only one. Look at you just going from, you're like doing a Reiki crawl. Oops. <laughs> Me and some of my friends, fellow Reiki practitioners, masters, I guess. Yeah, we're all masters. We're planning on doing a Reiki crawl. We gotta pick a day. We gotta pick a day. It's the only thing that stops me from crying. Reiki rate. Yes, it can help with anything physical, emotional, or mental, or spiritual. Oh, a Reiki crawl is where, um, oh, you did that last where you just go from um, one Reiki practitioner to the next uh, on, a, on a TikTok live. So we did this, I think it was over the summer, the community, like we all joined, I forget who started it. Someone started the live, I don't remember who, and we were all in there. And then like at the top of the hour, we switched and went to the another, another Reiki person's live and we, were, we just spent pretty much a couple hours together. Oh, I started it? 
And then I think, was it Jaden who was next? Jaden or Jim? Good morning, hey Tap Tap. Jaden and Jim, okay. Girl, your memory is, wow. <laughs> Yeah, so we have to we have to set something up. We have to do that. It feels like Mondays most of us are pretty much available. That went after. Yeah, I was like there could have been more. Thank you, Fudan. So tomorrow night is Emotion Code and Body Code Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you would like to join, that's where I'll be for a couple of hours. Uh, what is her name? <laughs> uh, so yeah, that I'm usually there a couple of hours. Just it's very similar to Reiki, where you just hang out, and if you resonate with anything, you can get in on that healing as well. And then this will be posted on my TikTok. I'm now doing a Reiki video a week. I'm kind of doing every month as a theme. So this one is kind of like letting go, releasing, stepping into your power, immune, immune system boost, and depression. So a new video every week, as well as a collective emotion code and body code session. Good afternoon, the man. Thank you for the roses. And of course, if you would like to work with me, I offer one-on-one -on -one sessions in person and video call. Yeah, they're usually at night. Okay. Thank you for the rose. All my, all my information is in my link tree and my bio, as well as if you need to get a hold of me for whatever reason. Thank you for the lightning bolt. Thank you. And yeah, thank you everybody for being with me, spending some time out of your day to hang out with me. Whether you joined in on the conversation or you're just like, man, <laughs> what are we talking about? I appreciate you guys hanging out. guys let's go ahead and close up shop good luck at your meeting wiggle your fingertips and your toes big old stretch big old stretch mm. <laughs> hopefully I don't have pit marks whatever <laughs> I'm sweating over here uh, so yeah thank you guys all for the likes the follows and the shares thank you for all the gifts I appreciate it Thank you to my um, amazing community. I love each and every one of you. You make this this Reiki session always fun. I love our conversations. We didn't really have a food conversation today, which normally hap usually happens, but I appreciate all of you. And the new people who are new to me, welcome. Uh, you are now part of the Knights of the Cornbread community. Uh, protect the cornbread, be the cornbread, consume the cornbread. <laughs> it is our D&D &D clan name, also uh, our community name. So I appreciate you guys too. Appreciate you guys too. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I will be back tomorrow night. 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for some emotion code and body code. And uh, good luck at the, the new moon tomorrow as well. Be nice to yourself. Hydrate, 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 hydrate. And be nice to yourself. That's your homework for the rest of the day. Well, for your life. For life. All right, you guys. I will talk to you soon. Bye.